Hello everyone, this is Michael Snellen, the founder of Catholicism for the Modern World, the host of the podcast with the same name. This is my first attempt at a IRL live stream. So what does that mean? It means in real life. So I'm going to be going outside, no longer staying here. This is a nice studio, a nice place to do the podcast. I thought going outside and really interacting with people or just doing unique things can bring more attention um, not only to like my own channel of course but just to Christianity in general I think there's a lot of um, curiosity out there nowadays a lot of people are interested in the faith and they just saw something that was really Something good representing the faith. I think that could really do a lot. So I'll leave this stream, this instrument here, this GoPro, up to the glory of God. I'll leave it all in God's hands. There was an archbishop who, going uh, through boarding at the airport, I asked him to bless, not this GoPro, but uh, the audio recorder I had. And so when he blessed it, he said, May this instrument be used for good and for evangelization. Amen. So may this same instrument, I need to get it blessed, also be used for the same good. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head out. We'll head to a little free library. I think that'll be a good first mission. You see here, here's the bookshelf. And there's the cross. So let me do a little bit of testing real quick. It's kind of while I was walking around. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll head out to a little free library. Apologies if I don't keep everyone entertained by talking constantly. I'm getting used to this. See here we have the holy water fount. I wanted to start out with that, really. Blessing myself, self. So here we go. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's always good to do, especially before you leave. There's the books we're going to be taking. Yeah, sorry about the echo. I realized the volume was also playing on this phone. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge uh, shift to go from the camera to a GoPro. And it's an even bigger shift to actually leave the studio, really, for the first time. Now, see, we already have a viewer. Feel free to leave some comments so I know who it is. Yeah, that's the good thing about IRL streaming. The viewers can really interact more. They can... Um, see what you're seeing. It's like uh, being in another person's head almost. So that's the unique thing I think that could be used for evangelization. Um, if people see perhaps a streamer doing something good, it might encourage them to do something good. And that's really my biggest hope. And I forgot what I was testing. I, I wanted to share this really quickly. I apologize to whoever's watching this. We'll get things going. Yeah, just look around the apartment. This is in Hodgenville, Kentucky. Here's a book, Moral Adhesions, by Dr. John Sotosanti. I hope I pronounced his last name correctly. He sent me that book. I'll be interviewing him maybe next month maybe the end of this month. Speaking of people that send me books for interviews, there's also Paul Kinger, I hope I pronounced his last name correctly, but he wrote The Worst of Indignities, The Catholic Church on Slavery. There's John uh, Climacus, I think I pronounced his last name correctly. He didn't send me that book, but that's a great book. Yeah, you can just see I read like multiple books at the same time. There's two St. Bernard books, Augustine's Confessions, St. Bonaventure, Alphonse of Gori, The Way by Jose Maria Escrivia. Escriva. That's also a hard last name to pronounce. 
I was distracted by showing the viewers the book, so I forgot to share this live stream. So let me do that really quick. There's the other gear we have. I'll probably put this thing to use someday. You put it like on top of your head or probably on top of a hat. It would look less strange if you put it on a hat. An icon of St. Paul. That used to be the old logo of Catholicism for the modern world. We, we just really redesigned our logo just a few months ago. So yeah, the company at large is doing pretty well. Lots of volunteers have came on and really helped out. I can't do it alone, so I do appreciate all of that. All right, everyone, I'm posting this on the Discord server. If you're not in the Discord server, do join that. We are going to be hosting like lots of live events there. Um, yeah, I want to really push the boundaries of like what Catholic content creation is, Christian content creation. The secular world is ahead of us by far. We have to change that. I want to do my best to contribute to that in any way I can. Oh, and here's the silver platters. These I found at a thrift store. Pretty nice, honestly. Pretty good to eat off of. You can see here some rust came off of that. I have this, just a fold-out table. Just a temporary table, really. That's a lamp from my great-grandparents. This is also a lamp from my great-grandparents. Same for the couch. Yes, just examine these while I finish typing out this sentence. It's hard to do two things at once, especially three things at once. I think I'll get better at being able to provide constant commentary. I do a good enough job as it is, but there still are some moments where I don't have anything to say or I'm doing something else. There we go. Everyone can see this. People can tune in and watch it. This is completely live. You never know what will happen. That's what makes these interesting. Right. We check the stream one last time, and then we'll go outside. Just to make sure it's working. And hopefully the uh, internet on my phone, whatever you call it, the hotspot, continues to work. I'm sure it might dip down at a few places, but... My phone's about half battery. The GoPro's at about 70% battery. I didn't prepare too much for this. That's kind of how I started the podcast. I just did it randomly one night, randomly for me, providential for God. I got the camera, got the account set up, and I was like, I'm going to stream tomorrow. I planned to have a podcast for like eight months, really starting the website and then um, starting the second website. We started a publication, then we started a website. Then the next step was really to have a podcast, talking to those people. And so that really took me for me to move out of my parents house to get my own apartment so i could have the silence in order to talk to interview people especially professionally you don't want my sisters in the background um yeah they talk very loudly i, I, sh I won't say screaming but uh, shouting and talking very loudly and playing i guess they're very young still middle school now they still seem young to me yes Without further ado, we'll take Alphonsus the Glories, the Glories of Mary. Alphonsus is my patron saint, so this is significant for me. 
We're also taking a little booklet here about the Eucharist, and we're going to take these to a little free library. I'll explain what that is once we get to the top of the hill. Uh, it might also be interesting just to show you what's in this camera bag. See, I have this on me here. I decided to put a blessed uh, prayer card, I think you call these, of Blessed Carlo Acutis. He was the first, uh, not first Catholic, but really first young person to create a website. It was talking about Eucharistic miracles, and he did that for evangelization. So I definitely really look up to him a lot, have a good devotion to him. He died very young as well. He's the first person canonized this millennium. I have a, let me unbutton this here, this camera bag. I have that little pocket Bible as well. You can always, you never know when you'll need it. Just a little pocket Bible. It has the New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs in that. Um, lastly, we have really my grandfather's broken rosary. Who knows how old this thing is, but I thought that would be significant to put in here as well. He was a Catholic his entire life, longer than I was alive. Um, so once my really family went away from the faith, he always remained Catholic. He was always the really the rock of the family in that sense. My family comes from the Irish and German heritage, and so, of course, they were always Catholic. So it's always really been in my blood, in my lineage. Yeah, just the secularism, it all fell to pieces. And so I'm sure he prayed for me. The first time I told him I was going to become Catholic, he gave me a rosary. Uh, not that rosary, but yeah, so he, he got to really live long enough to see me become Catholic. He was 93, I believe, when he died, just this year. Uh, so yeah, there's some cool stories I'll tell them in another video. Um, yeah, he, he got to go to Mass with me even. I was only confirmed and baptized and received First Communion on November 22nd, just this last fall, the year 2022. So... Uh, we went to Mass that January. That was the first Mass we've ever been to together. And we were able to receive communion together. That was very significant. So yes, uh, they say the dead are able to really experience the same Mass as we do, join the same Mass. So, uh, yeah, envision him with me at Mass all the time. We'll celebrate that in heaven. So yes, do pray for him and... Continue to pray for me as well. We're about to go outside. Enough talk, enough walking around. We'll, we'll go outside. Okay, this is the apartment. Hodgenville, Kentucky. There's my white car. Here's the other apartment building. If you're a longtime viewer, of course you've known, or you've probably seen that I did a video just about giving away food that I got from a church picnic of sorts. I had like tons of brownies and I was putting those on those uh, doorsteps or whatnot staircases and so there was one guy up on the top uh, balcony and we we had a long conversation just a two-hour conversation um, not only about God of course he was curious about that and he asked me I didn't even have to tell him like that I said I just talked about this in the podcast I did last week um, that I said once I said they were from the church he said oh the church I should go to church tomorrow so it's really that easy. People just have to get out um, and really talk, be open about the faith, spread the faith. So that's what we're going to be doing by putting these books in this little free library. 
these are all across America, I think all across the world. So anyone can put books in them, anyone can take books out of them. So yeah, if you just fill these with Catholic books, take all of your old Catholic books, put them, put them in there. They'll do a lot of good, you never know. Uh, who would read them or who might pick them up and when they when they read something just randomly like that it can plant a lot of seeds so you don't see what your impact is doing however it is doing a lot of good all the books I put in there St. Therese uh, a few others I think they're all gone now so somebody took them and somebody read those but we'll get a quick view of the town really quickly this is actually a church. So this is a very interesting church. It's the only Catholic church in a huge uh, radius. Like a, uh, it's the only Catholic church in the town. I'm not gonna try to estimate. I'm bad at math. So it's very significant. Just being up on this hill, really close to me. It's very old. This is a Protestant town, really. Right in the south, right in Kentucky where Abraham Lincoln was born. I shouldn't spoil that big surprise, but we'll see Abraham Lincoln's uh, monument in a moment. It was the first monument built for Lincoln after he died. Let me just do a quick test now that we're outside. So yeah, it'll be Interesting to see like how people react to me in this small town. This is a very like old town, very uh, antique town and not many people really walk around with cameras or a camera bag. So I'm sure I'll get a lot of odd looks but yeah it's something I prayed for just to have the courage to really walk outside as strange as it sounds. I think we're good. Let me do a quick test again. It's better quality than I thought. I hope the audio is good. If the audio is bad, please tell me in the chat. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll just walk up this hill. There's the police station. Our Lady of Mercy Catholic Church. There's Our Lady, of course. A nice statue. I've never been around this. Oh, yeah, I have. I went to Mass here a few times. I go to Mass at another place a couple more minutes down the road. I definitely should come back here more often on Saturdays and whatnot, but yeah, here it is. There's a dog over there. I think that's uh, the priest, so I might go talk to him. Whoa! That uh, was the priest at this church. I should have talked to him. I got a little nervous there. Of course, I'm still getting used to this whole thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wonder what he thought. Some guy just like recording the church and talking. Well, it, uh, it's not the worst thing to do. Not the most unusual thing to see. Police station. The city hall. 
trying to get this camera to stabilize. There we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to talk to too many people for this first stream, just trying to get the hang of things. You never know like who might not want to be recorded or on a live stream. Um, yeah, it's of course legal to film just walking around, but you do want to still give people their privacy. That looks like a church, really. A lot of those odor buildings look like churches. houses and stuff. Speed limit's 35. Hopefully these cars aren't too loud. It's pretty loud just walking beside of them. The town's really the other way. I just wanted to see what was down this way. I've actually never walked the sidewalk. It's also the good thing about just streaming in general. Uh, it forces you to really talk to people you might not usually talk to, or in this case, really walk where you usually don't walk. Yeah, I think there's a gas station up ahead. Nearly there. It's a small uh, Methodist church. It's interesting. I don't know what the viewers find more interesting, like just a, a still shot of me walking, my face while I'm walking, or to actually show you the action. So I'll do a mix of both. Of course, I'll get better at it. I can already see that this is something that I enjoy and I want to keep doing. That was how the first podcast was. It was kind of rough. We started out with no topic. We had five really random people we didn't know each other well we just met on the internet on the discord server and of course all catholic and we we decide we're all going to have a podcast show together and so um conversation started a little slow people of course are shy when they're doing podcasts and whatnot um even i was not the best talker about this back then Yeah, I gotta watch for traffic as well. That's the other thing about doing this. Let me check the stream real quick. We've been streaming for like 24 minutes and we haven't even been anywhere yet. Yeah, name this IRL Christian live stream. This is um, really the first time I've seen this done. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the first one to do it. I'm 
sure some other people have tried it or attempted it or even succeeded at it. I've just never watched anything like this. So. I don't even know what that means yet. An IRL Christian live stream. tripped over the curve as I was waving to those people. The thing, that was a car on camera. There we are, service center, pretty cool. It's good to see stuff like that, even if it's not from Catholics per se. It's just anything that really reminds people of God. That's the main thing. Especially in a secular world like this. If people don't go to church if they're not going to Christian schools. They're not immersing themselves like in their Christian life. Then they never think of God. That's why for a lot of people silence is uncomfortable. Just, I was on the plane a month ago going to Portugal for World Youth Day. So no one was talking on that plane. It was uncomfortable for me, really. I was like, I thought it'd be interesting. It was my first time on a plane. I thought it'd be interesting to talk to strangers for eight hours. Being stuck sitting beside strangers. Being forced to talk to them. However quickly you learn that people just kind of want to watch movies or play on their phone or listen to music. No, that's good. That's what I did. Yeah, of course, to, um, to provide some more context. It was late at night, so it was like 10 o'clock at night, that first flight, and people were really tired. So I even went to sleep after like two hours of trying to stay awake. And so, yeah, you can't uh, be tired and try to talk. There's Lincoln Boulevard. And there's Loco Taqueria. We're still getting used to this uh, camera stick here, tripod, whatever you call it. It'll like fall down or it'll not come undone, so. I think we're at the end of the sidewalk. Um, yeah, I think it'd be good to turn around. There's nothing down there. And I gotta keep the content interesting, so I can't just uh, walk where there's not a sidewalk, though that might be interesting. Me falling down in the grass, tripping and stumbling. Yeah, this way, there's a nice downtown. We might get some ice cream. I had that in mind before the stream. I was like, it'd be good to get some ice cream. Well, I hope this is a good uh, view, good angle. I can't see the screen. That's another difference. You, When you're podcasting, you can see like what the camera looks like when you're doing this you just point it in a direction really I hope it works out so here we are going back it's not quite as interesting on the way back I plan to do some of these streams in the city actually traveling about 50 minutes i live in the middle of the country but traveling to the city just to do some streams get some of my friends together because uh, 
it's a lot I don't know easier to do these types of streams really with a group of friends yeah perhaps I get good at both hopefully so just doing the solo streams and the streams where you're out uh, maybe doing unique things like giving away a hundred rosaries that was one video idea I had what I'm gonna do is buy a hundred rosaries and give them all away there's lots of ideas like that that I'm looking forward to filming Yeah, like Mr. Beast, he's one of the most popular, I think the most subscribed to YouTubers. And he, he really, um, let me check traffic here. All right, good. What he did, he got like a sponsorship of $5,000, $10,000 or something. Uh, this was after he was already pretty popular, but they gave him some money. And so he gave that money away. And that uh, made a very interesting video. And then he kept getting more sponsorships like that. Kept on doing more interesting content. Hopefully people don't think I'm too crazy. I was walking by some of those houses, people were outside, and I'm just over here talking about YouTube. Um, yeah, again, like all the apostles, all the good evangelists seem crazy. Like just imagine uh, St. Francis of Assisi walking around with animals, or I don't know, name any of them really. That's what happens when you really live the Christian lifestyle well, you become unique. C.S. Lewis said that all of the tyrants are very similar. They're all the same. They all have the same story. But the saints are different. There's like, like the trees. The saints are like trees. Every tree is unique in some aspect. So are the saints. So when you become closer to God, get closer to God, you really become who God created you to be. So God never creates the same person twice. Now I apologize for uh, just kind of sweating here. I'm sweating pretty bad. It's, it's not even that hot outside. I just saw the walking. Right, this, will get, this is where things will get interesting. We're about to go down the hill. It'd be good to test everything out one last time before we really open the gates and go to the main event. It's a pretty nice house. It's a very nice town. Everyone's like quiet and they keep to themselves and it's like very peaceful, very really peaceful when you're trying to sleep. You don't hear anything. Like on Saturdays especially, I think everyone leaves and goes somewhere else and it's like I have the town all to myself. I can like go an entire day without hearing noise, without hearing someone talking, music. You notice like the cars, they never they never play music or anything, really. In memory of the mayors. That's a furniture building. Well, I said, um, you never hear any music, we just pass someone playing music, so. That's a very nice view. Hopefully that's uh, showing on the camera as nice as it is in real life. 
pun intended. Very beautiful flowers. Yeah, let's just do the rest of the stream like this, walking around these flowers and the sun in the background. Take a selfie or something. I think that's what people think I'm doing, just walking around with a, a tripod. It's like a selfie stick. Yeah, one day we'll, um, we'll go get some fudge from the sweet shop. It's really a competitor uh, to my career. I'm currently the assistant fudge maker at the Abbey of Gethsemane. I make fudge in the mornings till about noon. It's one of the best jobs you can have, really. It's a peaceful job. It's always engaging. It goes by very quickly. And it allows for me to do stuff like this in the evening, just walk around and record Hodgenville. I think I'm the first person to ever record Hodgenville. It's a very old town, antique town. So yeah, that's uh, something I think a lot of people will start doing, just like recording or walking around with cameras. Might not be the best thing to do. Um, however, it's interesting to watch. Like a lot of people don't go outside and so they might watch stuff like this. Like I never really went outside or today. It's my first day of walking around. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll go down this way. I don't know why I was waiting. That's the sweet shop again. That's the competitor. They're the only other place like within a long distance to make fudge. That's of course what the Abbey does, Gethsemane. a pretty cool view they always have uh, country music playing I think people are really supposed to wait uh, when I'm passing yeah I'll just be patient or I'll go this way go around this way no cars over here. You don't have to wait for the cars when you're going around this way. That's a coffee shop. You can see me in the mirror. That's what I look like. <laughs> yeah, I'm really wearing this camera bag. I think it's uh, Kind of shows people what I'm doing, like recording, of course. Um, so yeah, it'd be kind of strange just to walk around with a tripod again. I think one thing I've noticed about like recording, like creating content while you're really exploring a place. I did a video last week at Abraham Lincoln's childhood home. You like pay attention to a lot of creative things like the creative mind really is engaged. Like I'll notice the sunlight or I'll notice like this uh, this would make a good picture. This would make a good video. Like those small things they really come alive. And that doesn't always happen when you're just walking around. Oh, I do want to walk around that circle. We probably won't stream too much longer here, 30 minutes or so, before the camera dies, really. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys uh, really the, the back of the town. Kind of looks abandoned in some places, but it's not very loud. Not too many people back here either. There's some law offices and a retirement home, a dentist over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, this GoPro has worked out pretty good so far. Better than I thought even. really perfect for this type of content I think it's waterproof as well so I can dip it in water if that's ever needed I don't know why that would be needed I don't think I'm brave enough to try that out not much there just besides the houses Ooh, I'm sure putting my legs to good use walking around. It'd probably be a good idea to get like a bicycle or something, even for these types of streams. I don't know how to skateboard. Don't know how to do any of that, but I can ride a bike, so. Yeah, that's a abandoned building right there. I wonder how long that sidewalk is. If I can make it to the IGA, that's where the ice cream is. I don't know if we'll try that out today. It'd be a good follow-up stream, getting ice cream, making that the main mission. So yeah, that IGA is pretty far away. Um, not much sure how long the sidewalk is. I might have to drive down there tonight and get some ice cream just to really scout out the location, scout out everything. There's Abraham Lincoln right there. It's always good to do some tests. Test out the stream to make sure it's working. Yeah, and I always wonder, like, who's watching the stream? There's another person watching. Do you hear me? There's a bit of a delay, so you'll hear me in about a minute. Or have a minute after I've really said this in real life, so... Whoever's watching, please leave a comment to say hello or something. Or give us some ideas. Like, I think that'd be uh, unique just to have the chat really be involved in the stream, to do it together. There's two people watching now. So yeah, as I just said, for that person who just joined, leave a comment. Uh, yeah, just provide ideas for the stream, what you want me to do. Let me test out the volume here. Ooh, and hopefully you guys can still hear me. I accidentally closed out the app. And it's still working. I thought we would lose connection totally there, so. It'll probably quit working in like a minute or something. Yeah, we've done 40 minutes here. We'll make it an hour. We'll go around this, uh, this little walkabout here. This circle. That's a restaurant right there. That's the coffee place. The next place is the restaurant. Um, we have some, lots of banks, lots of clothing stores. The Lincoln National Bank, of course. That's where Abraham Lincoln was born. However, he quickly left for Illinois. Um, I think when he was three or four years old, so he didn't stay that long. Yeah, I just walked past a restaurant. There's people sitting at pretty much all the tables, I think. And it'd be kind of strange just to look outside and see somebody with a camera. Um, live streaming if I saw that I was eating at that restaurant I'd be very surprised even me a, a young person that's a radio station that's pretty cool Abraham Lincoln radio station you can see the statue there I'm really always thinking of ways I can really help the church in this town. I think that little free library is one way to do it, but 
I noticed like some of the Protestant churches, they'll put up flyers all over the place. And so if like there's an event going on at a church, like a speaker or something, you'll see a flyer at every single one of these places. So I think that does a lot. I want to do that as well. Or even just that radio station. I wanted to talk to that guy about that, um, that monastic men's group I was doing. I was doing a really trying to make a monthly group at the Abbey, having some of the monks talk and having people talk with the monks. Not really a speech per se, but a dialogue. I thought that would be very um, beneficial to the community. I don't know why I went this way. I should have went the other way with less traffic. Oh, yeah, as I was saying, it's kind of hard to keep a constant dialogue or a constant commentary when you do this type of content you lose track of thought especially when you're looking out for cars oh I just gotta get across this sidewalk I can do that we'll even go see Lincoln I think that'll be amazing content Across two walkways there. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, I'm not going to try that right now because there's a line of cars behind that guy. However, I should have tried it because both those cars went the other way. There's the Freemasonry building. They have like events back there in that building. This is a cannon in memory of the LaRue County dead in the World War. So yeah, pray for those people, all those names. It's always good to pray for the dead. We'll even say a prayer for them right now. Eternal rest is granted to the dead, O Lord, and that perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Photography. Camera just fell down. This is what I was talking about. Those um, flyers. It's this David Ring guy. Sounds like a good event to go to. A cerebral palsy victim shares his story. That's where I pay my rent, my monthly rent. Oh, how am I going to get across this road? It's kind of the way out of town and it's perfect. Perfect. Come on, I got to walk fast in this car. We're going to run. We made it. So there's uh, Lincoln and his dog. Corn in the bag, sitting on a tree trunk. Kind of looks like my dog. I have a husky. What's he reading? He's reading a fable about dogs. I don't know if you guys can see that better than I can. So these were built like in 1880, I think. A lot earlier than the one in Washington, D.C. I think that was built in the 20s, the big memorial building. That's something I would have never noticed if I wasn't just walking around recording either. I don't know how long that's been there. There's another one. Very beautiful. It's a very beautiful day. I'm glad I did this today. If I tried to do it two weeks ago, it would have been like 20 degrees hotter. It was like 100 degrees when I was recording that one vlog at the Lincoln place. So there it is. Abraham Lincoln. I don't know how much of the statue you guys can see. Oh, that's perfect. I thought I'd be really zoomed in or something. We'll give it a quick, quick uh, tour. American flag. We're on 20% battery. I'm looking at the battery, but. So two miles south of this town, Abraham Lincoln was born February 12th, 1809. 
erected with a prox uh, app I can't even say that word appro Croatians made by the legislature of Kentucky and the Congress of the United States of America. The year of our Lord, whatever that year was. Clothing stores, Lincoln. Um, yeah, I think this would be a good place to end the stream. However, we can make it an hour. The first podcast I did was three hours long. That was like an accomplishment. We we're not going to make it that long. Maybe if I run back to the apartment, get some spare batteries charge up the phone or something but there's always future streams and that's where i've learned the podcast it's always good to do them short that means you have to keep things engaging for all that time you have to get rid of all the important stuff put it all out there well, there's still time to do it uh, so we'll check this i think the stream uh, bandwidth or whatever you call it's dropping down a bit. I apologize for that. Let me view the channel here. Shout out to the people still watching this. I see uh, Sebastian at Milan, Electrical Cord, he's been a long time fan. Domine Keynes. Oh, so I'm just now reading the questions. We have questions. First viewer questions. So, uh, <laughs> Sebastian, he was the one watching. He said hello or something whenever I was asking, who's watching this thing? Who's spending time watching me walk around Hodgenville? So he said, what's your favorite book of the Bible? That's an easy answer. It changes every year, I think, but I think I'll go back to John. That was the first book I really sat down and read uh, after graduating high school, and that has always influenced my spirituality since that summer of 2020. That was during the pandemic, and I've told this story before, but that forced me to be contemplative, to think about a lot of things and a lot of other things to get away from, get away from a lot of other things. And so just sitting down at the end of that summer and reading the book of John, it uh, kind of made it known to me like just that God's real. Not only that, I believe that in high school. I would have agreed with that. However, it's like, what do I need to do since God is real? So that set me down a path of like self-discipline, uh, reading the Stoics, and eventually becoming Catholic. So that's still what, it's still the path I'm on. So discipline always trying to become better always trying to become a saint and what's your favorite subject uh, school subject so favorite school subject um, I always tell people I should have got a degree in fudge making that's currently what I do uh, I got a degree in electrical engineering never really enjoyed that never really enjoyed doing that I'm not a math person so yeah, I was always a history person. Or I enjoyed politics. I enjoyed like psychology. Never had philosophy, but like, those thinking man subjects. I was never good at math. So we have five people watching now. I forget uh, people that have been watching the entire stream. So leave some comments. Let me. Uh, know who's watching. I'm interested to kind of talk with you guys. Well, some people might want to see the statue as well. We've been touring this town. You'll have to go back and watch this stream. It's a legendary stream. It's really the next level of the digital evangelization that I've been doing. It's always kind of been a tagline of uh, this brand, this channel. And so this is really a next step into the wider world of evangelization. Yeah, like I imagine myself talking to people or having friends along and uh, really using them to hand out like rosaries or Bibles and kind of doing like that content you see secular YouTubers making. They'll hand out like money or hand out PS4s, hand out video games. 
you can easily do that with rosaries and then you invite a discussion so it'll be interesting like really hear what people are saying what people out in the real world are saying a lot of times we get stuck in bubbles like even just me making podcasts i'm stuck in the catholic bubble really going to world youth day really allowed me to do this i'm wearing the same hat i wore there it's a legendary hat jason everett wore this hat tons of people wore this hat i'll have to make like a video just like all the people i made one a few weeks ago of all the pictures i've took with people and that had all those photos in it so i just give people this hat and they would maybe trade me hats or something and we'd take a picture together but i was talking to hundreds of people on that trip and that uh that really built up a courage in me just uh to do this to just walk around and this is honestly more nerve-wracking because you're um you're not in that catholic territory at world youth day i was surrounded by catholics if i was to do like a catholic live stream or something um of course they would understand but you're doing that here this is not even a catholic town this is a protestant town and we're not doing very much talking about catholicism right now but still like in the future if i want to do content like that you're really like in the enemy's territory of course god protects you the saints intercede for you so nothing to worry about just even this like i was uh, very anxious before the stream like just stressed out about everything stressed out about the online store really having to ship packages i should have showed you guys the post office it's like a minute away from my house um so i was stressed out about that i was like i have 10 minutes to ship off those packages before the weekend so uh yeah, like the devil provides a lot of tension when he knows you're going to do something good like this. But you have to just push through, push through that initial um, tension. And like, really, God and the saints help you with that. They help you prevail. It's a good thing to do. God wills it. It's like right now, I'm not nervous at all. I'm walking around with the camera, talking. Yeah, I think we're a 20 battery on the phone. Let me check the GoPro. 11 battery. We'll we'll end it. We'll end it. Uh, the camera dying. I think that'd be a good good way. The batteries don't last too long on these things. So I'll have to carry multiple batteries with these next time. I have two GoPros. The other one I think does live streaming. Um, this one's better quality though. The other one came from my brother. Thank you. Thanks go out to my brother. See, so I'm just kind of testing it out. Uh, <laughs> Sebastian said I should start tab dancing. I'm not that courageous, Sebastian. Not that courageous, not yet. The four temperament types. Yeah, I think I've heard of those. I don't know what they are. I couldn't tell you what they are. Who knows where I fall? I'm still introverted. Um, like I'm able to talk to anyone. I'm able to talk to strangers, complete strangers, pretty easily. Um, yeah, you just have to kind of do it. Like you just go up to them and say really those basic things. Hey, how are you doing? And then you go from there, you build off of that. So we'll uh, cross this road. I got to pay attention here. Pretty cool car he waved there. Yeah, I don't know if like people like the record, so I'm not just gonna kind of point a camera at him. So um, I'll get better at that, really gauging people and gauging like what to talk about, where to point the camera, what to do. I forgot to mention there's a very good burger place, Leahy's Red Castle. They sell burgers for like two dollars. It's one of the oldest burger places in Hodgeville. There's not many restaurants here, as you can see. There's the 16th restaurant, named after the 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, who we just saw. Oh, we pull out the, the full camera stick. So yeah, this is a pretty big camera stick. You can hold it up. 
cool views and still not sure how to tighten this so it keeps falling down i apologize about that and here we are time for michael to cross the road again it's always the most entertaining thing to watch stairs going down the stairs going up the incline oh I think I'll have some ice cream after the stream just to celebrate I always like uh, Oreo ice cream it's always my favorite So yeah, when you're walking during moments like this, this is when you pull out your phone and kind of look at the comments and really interact with the viewers. Uh, we don't have constant comments, quite more than I thought we would have. Yeah, we'll grow the channel. This channel will continue to get bigger. We'll have on some big guests next month, the month after that. And I need someone to tell me not to go down there. There's always, uh, at World Youth Day, there's always somebody, they were like, Michael, don't go chase those goats on top of that hill. Or Michael, don't go do this. And that saved me quite a few times. So, of course, the thought pops in my head to go down there, that'd be fun to do. However, it's not safe. We really, um, don't have a sidewalk anymore. There is one on the other side of the road. So we'll have to go up here and then cross over. Yeah, I don't want to jaywalk right here. We'll just, we'll just walk back. It's a very busy road. So yeah, we'll uh, cross over and go to the park. And I think we won't make it further than that before the camera will die. However, I'll still walk to that IGA, get some ice cream. I'll post a picture of me eating ice cream just to confirm that that happened. Right here. Closer than I thought. Yeah, people really never stop at these, so you don't want to trust that they will. the cars so we're off I thought I heard some people in that gym I thought I heard like some big weights being thrown around or dropped or something Ooh. that's the cool thing about GoPros you kind of tilt them or tilt them every direction There's the park. We've nearly made it with 3% battery. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Pretty nice stream right there. I was pretty nervous that I was gonna drop this camera don't want to do that that'd be a good place to end the stream this first stream we're really we started at the apartment went out into the world toward the world and now we're ending it at a beautiful park there's the IGA in the distance if you can see it I don't know how to zoom in on this thing but it's not too far away if you can see that red sign this is farmland. So I'll walk to that IGA as soon as I get done. And I'll buy some ice cream. I'll have to walk back. Of course, I think there's Ubers around here. Um, but I don't have a car. I'm not used to walking this far out without a car.